against Mr. Fly here. Hope you're well. Now, it's been a while since the uh, trusty BMW GS has been uh, on the channel, so I thought today, as it's such an absolutely cracking summer's day, I'd uh, pack the drone up, jump on the GS, and uh, go for a bit of a ride and do a bit of old-fashioned vloggage. Yeah? I'm gonna, this one's going to have a bit of a sort of a River Thames feel. I'm going to see if I can fly the drone around the Thames, show you some of the sights of that. Anyway, stick around, stay tuned. I'll uh, get the bike out of the garage. Let's go for a ride. First white van of the day. All right, well, what an absolutely gorgeous day, as I say. I'm recording this uh, in the middle of June, flaming June, as we call it here in the UK. And we have had a crack in summer this year. It's uh, 29 and a half degrees at the moment, it looks centigrade, which uh, that's one to uh, let my Australian fans know. <laughs> I often say that uh, I'm out on a hot day and it might be like 18 or something. I always get comments saying, oh, that's not a hot day. You want to come to Australia, it's 42 here. Anyway, in anyone's language, about 30 degrees centigrade is a hot day. And in fact, I think the last time I rode this bike in temperatures like that was exactly, almost exactly two years ago, uh, when I was on my Norway trip. Yeah, yeah, if you've only recently joined the channel, do go and check that out. I rode this very bike up to the Arctic Circle and uh, I was just very, very jammy because I happened to get the best summer that we'd had for ages. And uh, the best summer in Norway for absolutely ages. It was, uh, it was about 20 degrees by the time we got up to the Arctic Circle. It was incredible. We just got to 30 degrees now. Look, excellent. So in truth, it's a bit hot to be riding the bike, but uh, I couldn't not come out on a day like today because it's just cloudless. And uh, I want to have a bit more of an experiment with my drone because I haven't flown it much this year. Now, one of the problems is I live in the busy southeast, and uh, there's all sorts of places that you can't fly the drone. Uh, all the sort of places you'd want to do it, like National Trust places and what have you, you're not allowed to fly them. So, uh, so not going to them, I was sort of racking my brains, where can I go and put the drone up and it might be some nice photography to be had? And I thought, hang on a minute, I'm often around uh, various towns on the River Thames, places like Marlow and Henley and what have you. You often see those places when I do my bike reviews. I thought I'd go and see if I could find some good spots there and just give you a few aerial views on the drone. So that's the plan. So the, there's a loose sort of theme of the River Thames first place I'm going uh, is up to Maidenhead. You will have seen Maidenhead a lot in my, in my videos, again, if you've been watching for a while, because that's where Barnstormer, the BMW dealer I use, is based. So I'll be passing there on the way up to the riverside, and then we'll see if we can get the drone up. So stick around and stay tuned on this absolutely glorious summer's day. And uh, see you when we get close to Maidenhead. Okay, roll on. Uh, 20 minutes or so and uh, welcome to Maidenhead a lovely little town on the Thames only blighted by its proximity to Slough <laughs> no offence to anyone who lives in Slough of course nothing wrong with Slough at all Slough of course famously uh, was the location that the uh, office Ricky Gervais comedy series was set the series that made him famous really there's been loads of spin-offs since various countries but uh, yeah Slough is where that was uh, made and Slough is the next town on from Maidenhead so for some reason Slough gets a bad rap part because the name sounds horrible compared to Maidenhead but uh, it's perfectly all right there but let's face it Maidenhead is nicer mainly because you do have a nice uh, stretch of the Thames running through it which is just up here on the left so uh, I'll get up there find somewhere to park and I'll show you that Okay, so coming up to the nice riverside of it up here, if you carry on straight over the bridge here at Maidenhead, that's, uh, you end up in Slough, as I say, this is the A4 that I'm on. Turning off though towards Cookham, takes you down uh, Maidenhead Riverside. It's usually pretty busy down here. I don't know, in these Covid days, that doesn't look too bad at all. Got two boats out as well on the river. I'll we'll see if I can find somewhere appropriate to put the bike and to launch the drone. day for a bit of boating. The reason why I can't park her on there, not going to be in the way of anyone am I? Let's stick her on there. Right, let's show you Maidenhead Riverside.
one of the things I often get asked is how do I go about securing my bike when I'm out and about on my travels. Well, this is one of the things I've started using. It's called a light lock. It's a brilliant bit of kit because it's really light and it's really secure. I did make a video all about my uh, favourite security products. I'll put a uh, link in the corner there. Go and check that out. And uh, I'll put a link below to this as well because you can get a discount if you buy one of these through that link. So this little spot I've just parked in is called uh, Riverside Gardens. It's a very handy little car park for just exploring the river. Um, and the river is just here, literally. What I've got to do is find a place to launch that drone. So this is quite a lovely spot. It's known as uh, Bolter's Lock. There's like a, an island and a few bridges off of it and like a little ice cream parlour and uh, places where you can go and sit down there. It really is a lovely spot if you're just coming to uh, visit. Anyway, uh, this looks like a likely place that I could possibly launch the drone. There's a little bit of uh, open area here. It is a bit windy down here by the, ri by the river as well as very hot. Uh, but anyway, let's get it launched and we'll go and have a look at this new bridge. All right, so that was uh, Bolter's Lock. Limited degree of success, I think, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Right, back to the bike. Whew, it is hot now, man. All right, so that was the lovely uh, Maidenhead Riverside. I'm not sure I've uh, done it justice. There's plenty more to see at Bolter's Lock than I could show you there. Unfortunately, there were quite a lot of people there. It was a lovely day, obviously, and uh, quite a few people making the most of the weather and coming out and having picnics and stuff in a socially distanced kind of way and it went, there weren't that many options for me to fly the drone because I feel a bit of a nana stood there flying it to be honest with you and then in that little spot I did put it up not on making excuses although I sort of am uh, it was pretty windy and I didn't have huge confidence in my uh, ability to control the drone for some reason anyway I hope I've got a couple of short clips for you right next uh, stop on this uh, whistle stop tour of the Thames uh, I'm going to head up towards Marlow, which is another place that uh, often features on my bike reviews, so you may recognise it if you're a regular viewer. Again, it's a very popular spot, and I imagine it'll be absolutely heaving up there today, but we'll go and have a look anyway. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a few more aerial shots. The river's a little bit wider there. The Thames itself, of course, is uh, England's largest wholly contained river. I think it's about 212 miles long from its source out at uh, Thames Head, the aptly named Thames Head, which I think is in Gloucestershire, and that runs right the way across the south of the country, coming out at uh, the Thames estuary between Essex and Kent, having run through all sorts of nice places like Oxford, these beautiful little home counties towns that I'm taking you today, and then through the middle of central London, of course, where it's quite wide. Of course, in the past, Thames used mainly for transport, moving goods around, a great port in London, that used to service the empire back in the bad old days. Now not a lot of uh, river traffic. Some say an underused uh, resource, particularly in London. Uh, and most of the time the Thames now is just used for leisure, which works for me. All right, this is uh, sort of the town of Maidenhead. We'll leave it here and I'll speak to you again when we get to Marlow. All right, we're not at Marlow yet, but uh, look at that temperature now. 32 and a half, turning into a properly hot day this. In fact, if I'm honest, a bit too hot to keep jumping on and off the bike. So uh, this little uh, visit to Marlow might be the last one of this uh, little video, we'll see. Scott y'all, 33 and a half, it's getting hotter all the time. Always, always a white van, isn't there? Oh, I can't tell you how nice it is to be uh, riding one of my own bikes for a change. 
Oh, I know I'm in a yeah, super, super privileged uh, position to ride lots of other brand new bikes all the time, but the bikes I love to ride, my own bikes, and I just don't get much time to do that, so it's a real treat to be out on such a perfect day as this on my big Beamer. This reminds me what a great bike it is, even though it's, uh, what is it, six, seven years old now? Still plenty of life in the old girl yet. Okay, just coming into Marlow then, and I'm coming into Marlow uh, the opposite way to what I would normally do on my bike review. So I'm coming in over the bridge just to show you uh, the Thames. Off to my right is a lovely hotel called the Complete Angler. Great place to get married and stuff if you can afford such things. And here we see a uh, brilliant bridge at Marlow and a lovely church as well. And again, glimpse the River Thames and that amazing weir. Okay, gorgeous. Thank you, sir. Alright, so what I've got to do now is find myself somewhere to park. But hopefully, means I can get that drone up. Those are great pubs down here. I've frequented them all in my time. I used to work in Marlow years ago. I used to work for Xerox and they were based here many moons ago. Great nightlife and stuff in Marlow as well. Sometimes a bit overshadowed by its uh, neighbour. Henley, which is perhaps more famous because of the regatta, but it's uh, no less nice. Well, I'm wondering if uh, I can sneak a spot in here somewhere. The bike's parked up there. Hello? All right, I'm going to find a place to secrete my bike, hopefully without pain, <laughs> and I'll see you shortly. Right, let's see what we can find. Okay, here we are then, found a spot to park. It was all free because of the uh, COVID outbreak. Uh, they've suspended parking charges, which was rather handy. Anyway, walking across the uh, cricket green here that isn't in use because cricket's still not allowed for some reason. Uh, walking towards the river, there's loads of people here again, so it might be a bit embarrassing to launch the drone, but I'll see what I can do. It does feel a bit windy as well, but I'll try and uh, get some shots of the river if I can. Uh, and this is what I'm looking at. Of course the GoPro makes everything look wide and makes people look a long way away so you're probably wondering what we're talking about being embarrassed to uh, film and fly the drone but uh, let me assure you wandering along talking to a camera you're holding in your hand while people watch you it's a bit of a funny thing to do right let me find a spot and uh, hopefully next stuff you see will be the drone shots Oh, it's got a bit of airflow. So that, folks, was some very hurried drone shots of Marlow. Apologies if they weren't up to my usual standard. Oops, going the wrong way here, never mind. But it was absolutely uh, heaving in there. And very hot, as you can see. Frankly, too hot to be lugging the bike and the camera around. So what I might do is come back and uh, finish my little tour of Thames Towns on another day. Let's make this a two-parter. Another day, maybe in the winter, I'll come back and uh, do some contrasting shots of other of my favourite towns here on the Thames. You'd never believe it is actually a uh, Tuesday afternoon that I'm recording this, in the middle of June, when we're trying to get the economy back up and running again after the Covid outbreak. Just the number of people around, there's just nobody at work. Except me. Not like complaining, this is good work. Can I do a left here? 
Just wanted to show you down here, new road layout for social distancing. Ooh, interesting. How does that work then? So this is Marlow Town Centre. As I say, often overshadowed by its big brother. Oops, sorry lady on the crossing. <laughs> Would have failed me test there. As I say, often overshadowed by uh, Henley, its more famous cousin just up the road. And up the river in fact. There are some great spots all along the Thames. Places like uh, Abingdon. Even Oxford itself is, is a beautiful place to visit on the Thames. And there's lots of locks on the way as well. Most of which are very well kept and very picturesque. Ooh, the picturesque. But as I say, these are all things I think for another time. Maybe when it's not 33 and a half degrees as uh, my sat nav is now showing me. Some days are just made for lazing in the garden, having a beer and a barbecue. I think this is one of them, so I'm going to head back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little video. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Messenger Fly. Cheerio.